Okay, and these crosswinds should put us right on target! <laughs> Another perfect landing right in Animal Junction. You okay, Martin? Yeah, except that I landed in a anthill! No! Don't roll over me! Ants are little creatures with a big bite. Woohoo! Sorry, guys, didn't mean to sit on your home. An anthill is like a fortress, bustling with thousands of soldiers protecting it. When they bite you, it makes you leap like you know who. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! There he is! Come on in! Hey, Zabu! <laughs> it looks like Zabu's got ants in his pants, too. Hey, Zabu. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Want a scratch? Yeah. It's great up here, isn't it? You should see what's down here. Look at these little guys. A bunch of ants and termites built homes here. It's like a whole other world in these mounds. It's amazing. Have you ever watched ants before, Zabu? Zabu? Well, you know Zabu. No chat until he's had a snack. Apples? Zabu, I've got an apple for you. There you go, buddy. Have a piece. Wait, not the whole apple. Here, I got a piece for you. This one. <laughs> there you go, buddy. That's the one. Give me some of the food. Hi there. Hello, ants. Wow, you guys are sure fun to watch. Look at those little ants go. <laughs> wow! Ow, 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 ow. Watching those ants! Ah. Zabu, it was the ants! Huh? And these little creatures pack a powerful bite. Look at those oh. chompers. Manga Sika, that's a big mouth for a little creature. I'm gonna call you Jaws. Hey, that makes my mind remember. On my way here, I saw another creature, a big creature with a little mouth. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this? Okay, he had two big eyes and a long face. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. His mouth was pretty small, but he had a really bushy tail. Tailed, small mouth creature. Do you know who he is? All right, let's see. He had a long face, small mouth, bushy tail, big claws, <gasps> a giant anteater. Wow, he's amazing. And he has a face that's gianter than giant. <laughs> Long Ant Eater, the mystery animal is here. <laughs> Come on over here. <laughs> <laughs> He's slurping. He 
he's slurping my face. <laughs> hey, that tickles. <laughs> hey, Slurpy. That's what I'm gonna call you, Slurpy. No, no, those are my feet. <laughs> Great name, Zabu. Slurpy the anteater. Check out that tongue. It's pretty long, right? But that's just the tip of it, because an anteater's tongue can get up to two feet long. The whole thing's longer than a shoelace or a water monitor's tongue. But guys, why is he called an anteater? Well, he doesn't really eat defenseless little ants, does he? Yeah, he really huh? does, Zabu. He really is an anteater. In fact, anteaters were built for eating ants. Just take a look at that long nose and listen to it sniff. Giant anteaters have a great sense of smell. That's how they find ants. Like this Tamandua, who is an anteater too. He sniffs along tree branches, searching for ants or termites. He finds them by smelling them. Wow, he can smell ants? I didn't even know ants were smelly. Yeah, and once he finds them, he uses his long, hard claws to get to them. He scratches away bark or dirt, and that is how he finds his food. His claws are so important for finding his food that he has to keep them sharp at all times. That is why an anteater walks on his knuckles, like this. Give it a try. An anteater has what it takes to hunt, catch, and eat ants. <laughs> but ants are great. Well, ants and anteaters should be friends. I'm gonna do something about this. I'm gonna make them best friends. Well, Slurpee, I was thinking, Hey, well, what are you smelling? No, no, not the ants. No, no, wait, stop. Slurpee's gonna eat Jaws and all the other ants. I gotta stop him. Slurpee, wait, stop. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Slurpee, where are you going, huh? Oh, you're hungry? Well, here, the snack's right over here. Come on, to the snack machine. Uh-huh, can't eat it. Let's see, uh, oh, nothing coming. Hello? Oh, nothing there. Oh, well. Oof. <laughs> I meant to do that, yeah. An avocado. Oh, try it, Slurpster. You'll like it. Uh-huh. Slurpee likes fruit. Actually, giant anteaters do eat some fruit, but it has to be pretty mushy like an avocado because giant anteaters don't have any teeth. No teeth? That's right, no teeth. And creatures with no teeth, like a human baby, have to eat really soft food. Whoa, but he has a very flicky tongue. Oh, I'm almost getting dizzy. Oh. It's amazing. It's like a worm. Yeah. I told you he'd be a good fruit eater. You're right, Zav. When an anteater eats fruit, he doesn't eat a lot because an anteater mostly eats ants. How many ants does an anteater eat? An anteater eats 30,000 ants in a single day. That's a lot of ants. So fruits are pretty good, huh, Slurpee? Slurpee? Slurpee. He's looking for something else to huh? eat. Oh, oh, wait, not the ants. I gotta stop him. I'll try to get his attention. Hey, Slurpee, let's run around Ant the Junction. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Gallop like an anteater. Try galloping on your knuckles. <laughs> it's not that easy, but it's easy for Slurpee. Come on, buddy. All right, over here. Whoop, through the legs. <laughs> Tickle Slurpee. Zabu, I've got him. I've got him in the tickle hold. Tickle hold? <laughs> Good work, Chris. Slurpee's not thinking about eating ants. He's thinking about being tickled. <laughs> he loves it. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Jaws, all you other ants, you're safe now. <laughs> he really wants to wrestle. <laughs> Wrestling with an anteater. <laughs> well, let's go. Come on. Uh oh. Well, where's he going? Hey, no, wait, stop! Not again! I know, my mind has an idea, but I better move fast! Oh, hey, Slurpster! Wanna see me do one of these crazy people things? Huh? Yeah, come on over here! Now, this is the back of the bike, and uh, I get on over here. <laughs> and then uh, you you sit on it like this, and then uh, I think you just pedal. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, this is easy! Uh oh! Oh! to do that. That 
Besides, I kept Slurpee's mind from thinking about ants. <laughs> You're right, Sob. Jaws and the other ants are still safe. Well, that's good, but I'm stuck. Slurpee, I need help. Oh, oh hi, uh, Slurpee. Uh, can you can you get me out? That's a nice foot. <laughs> no, no, don't tickle my feet. <laughs> oh, stop. I give. I give. Oh, I, I give, Slurpee, all the mangoes you can eat. I'll give you. <laughs> Slurpee tickling me reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. <laughs> leap, 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 leap. And I landed next to Snow Lemur playing in the sand. Hello, Snow Lemur, I said. Hi, Sabu. Uh, you know, when I come down to uh, Sabu land, I like playing in the sand. Yeah. Oh, I like the sand too. It tickles my fingers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It feels good in my hands. Yeah. It, it tickles my sides too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It tickles my sides too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tickle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tickle. <laughs> Wait a minute. Huh? Sand can't tickle our sides. Huh? You're right, Sabu. Oh. It's not sand. Oh, it's me. So Snow Lemur, Phoebe, and I spent the rest of the morning together playing in the sand. <laughs> Great story, Zabu. Well, thanks. But you know, Slurpee really wants to get at those ants. I mean, anteaters eat ants. That's just life in the creature world. And don't forget, ants have ways of protecting themselves. Remember those chompers? Oh, yeah. When an anteater attacks an anthill, the ants bite so much that the anteater can only spend about a minute eating before he has to get out of there. And there are a lot more ants than anteaters, usually about a million ants to one anteater. See these driver ants? The workers are heading out in search of food. But see the line of ants on each side with the extra big jaws? Those are soldiers, and they protect the workers from danger. And then there's the acacia ants. The thorns of the acacia tree make sugary food for the ants in exchange for protection. These tough ants protect the tree against grasshoppers and other predators. Wow, ants are pretty tough. I've got it. I need to talk to the ants. Well, maybe I can convince them to be friends with the anteaters. Brothers! Yes, sir. I need to do this face to face. Build me a shrinking machine so I can be as small as an ant. A shrinking machine? Yeah. Like this one? Huh? Come on in, the shrinking machine! Huh? Munga, Zika, I'm ready to go. <laughs> to the ants. Chris, you know, one of us should really go with them. You're right. Good luck. I'll stay here with Slurpee. Oh. Zab, it looks like I'm coming with you. Well, thanks, Martin. That's big of you. Get it? Big? <laughs> all right, Zab, are you all set? All set. Ready to go. Set to ant size. All systems go. Whoa! 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 Oh, I'm shrinking! Me too! I'm getting smaller! Whoa! We're ant size! It worked! Look who's coming! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. To oh, the no. end hill! Oh, run, Martin! I'll distract him. So slurp! All right! Are you ready, ready Zabu? Yep, I'm ready! Okay, one, two, two three, three, three! Leap! Woo All right! Yeah! Lift your head! Yeah, it's tight in here! Okay! Okay! <sighs> Hey, it's Jaws! How do you know that's Jaws? Well, I'd know that face anywhere. Hey, Jaws! I need to talk to all the ants. Could you take us to them? Whoa, hey, wait, wait for us! us. <laughs> How are you guys doing down there? You know, an anteater has a really sticky tongue. That's how he comes up with a mouthful of ants. So watch out for that tongue. Yeah. Here we are, Zabu, the nesting chamber. Yeah. This is where the ants take care of their eggs and babies. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. This is my big chance. I'm gonna talk to them. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye. Hello, ants. You know this little war you've been having with the anteaters? Well, uh, I think you guys should be buddies. Hello? Hello? Anybody hear me? Zab, the ants are busy. They're doing what ants do. In an ant colony, there's strength in numbers, so more ants are being made all the time. Ants started as eggs, and then they become larvae. See those white worm-like things? Those are the larvae, and the workers feed them and take care of them. Everybody's just doing what ants do. Doing what ants do. And I guess anteaters do what anteaters do. Exactly, Sabu. And anteaters eat ants. Yeah. 
and a lemur is made to be lemur-sized. Back, Back to, to the, the machine. machine! Whoa! That was great! <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, buddy. The itch is right there. Yeah, right there. Thanks. Hey, they're back. Time to hit the big time. Whoa! <laughs> How'd it go, guys? Well, I decided that ants are ants and anteaters are anteaters. And anteaters need to eat ants to survive. But ants have pretty good ways of protecting themselves. So, it all kind of works out in the end, right? Mm-hmm. And all kinds of eaters are good eaters. Hey, you know what? What? I'm feeling anteaterish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel anteaterish. How about you, anteaterish? I feel anteaterish. Anteaterish. I'm a long-faced slurper with a super long tongue. Anteaterish. I'm going back for more. I love this machine. Being small is Munga Tsika! <laughs> now I'm feeling antish again. Duck! Duck! Incoming! Hi, Moonface. <laughs> it's not a duck, it's a giant Moonface, the barn owl. Well, giant to a mini Zabu. Whoa, I've never seen your talons so close before. They're like giant teeth to a little creature. <laughs> And Moonface brought a message from the Animal Helpers. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. My friends live on a farm and have three pet goats. Goats are great pets. They love it when you pass them. That tickles. My friends don't even have to mow the lawn anymore because the goats keep the grass nice and short. See what I mean? Goats will eat everything, even the flowers in your garden. They're great eaters, all right. All right! There are all kinds of incredible eaters in the world. Yeah, and I like being ant-sized, but I'm ready to be lemur-sized again. Flick on the machine, brothers. Okay, here goes. Oh! Something's wrong, it's not working. It's out of the special ingredient. Uh-oh. Don't worry, we'll get some. Sounds like a trip to Mini Zabu. To, to the, the closet. closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet uh -oh. to grab their You know what always happens when we open the closet. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and, and they, they don't, don't know, know what's in store. They're coming from the closet. A container for the secret the ingredient. Go along, Chris. <laughs> See you later, Zabu. Hi, brothers. We're here in Africa, searching for the special ingredient for the shrinking machine, aardwolf spit. And how do you find aardwolf spit? Well, you could get it directly from an aardwolf, except that's not easy. Or you could also find it on a termite mound. You see, aardwolves are a special type of hyena that eat termites, so it's only natural that they'd leave a little bit of spit on a termite mound. Let's find a termite mound, come on. Too bad we don't need elephant spit, they're everywhere. All right, our first termite mound. Any aardwolf spit, Martin? I don't know, but there are termites. Hey, talk about saliva. Termites build these mounds by mixing their spit with dirt. The mound bakes in the sun and becomes as hard as concrete. Yeah, lots of termites, but what about the aardwolf spit? Let me see. We'll take a sample with our aardwolf spit test kit. Just scrape off a little dust here, and this machine will detect if there is any spit left by an aardwolf lapping up termites. Nothing. No aardwolves have been here, but birds definitely have. Look, bird poop. Birds sometimes use termite mounds as perches and lookout points. Baboons like to laze around on a termite mound, too. In fact, they play king of the termite mound. Let's keep looking for aardwolf spit. Zabu's waiting. All right, termite mound number two. Except, I don't think we're gonna find any fresh aardwolf spit here. That's because this is an old termite mound. And with no termites living here anymore, why would an aardwolf come by? He wouldn't. 
But there's another creature who loves old termite mounds. Mongoose! Oh yeah! If you're a mongoose and need protection from the hot African sun and predators like a jackal, a termite mound is a great place to go. A mongoose is small enough to get into all of the tunnels and the mound is so hard, it's almost impossible for any predator to break into. Another termite mound. Test result. Ooh, negative. We're not having much luck. Yeah, and it's getting hot out of here. Yeah. Hey, let's use the termite mound like a jackal. Yeah. For shade. She has her shady spot, and we have ours. I feel cooler. Yeah, me too. So, let's keep searching for Ardwolf spit. All right. There must be an Ardwolf around here somewhere. Yes! Mika, we hit Ardwolf spit! <laughs> and there's the Ardwolf! What an amazing creature. An Ardwolf only eats a few termite species and she only hunts them at night. She uses her long sticky tongue to lick up the termites. She can eat 200,000 termites in one night. All right, well we've got the secret ingredient for the shrinking machine. Let's get back to Animal Junction with this Ardwolf spit. Giraffe spit. We, we don't need, need any of that. <laughs> Not today, at least. <laughs> hey, Chris, look. It's Animal Junction. We did it, Zaba. We found the secret ingredient. Whoa. Do you see what I see? Giant Chihuahua, mini anteater. Brothers. The machine's really going crazy now. It's shrinking and enlarging everybody. Incredible. Have you ever seen a mini elephant? Or a giant chimpanzee? The whole world of nature's out of whack. Sabu, good thing we got back when we did. You can say that again. Hope this art will spit works. Hi, <laughs> right, Brainiac. Oh, yeah, I'm ready too. Okay, we're ready to get back to normal. Let's do it. All we have to do is put the secret ingredient inside the machine and it's ready to go. Got it? All right. Turn it on. Okay, everybody, in the machine. Toothbrush first. It worked. <laughs> All right, now the end eater. Hooray for our well <laughs> I'm a lemur again, and toothbrush is a big elephant again. Pint sized chihuahua, normal sized penguins. Everyone's back to the size they should be. Bye, Brainiac. See you later, Splish and Splash. And everybody's the eaters they should be. <laughs> That's right. And Toothbrush is an herbivore. That means he eats plants. Me too. I'm an herbivore too. <laughs> toothbrush can really pack away the plants. He can eat more than this whole pile of hay in just one day. And he's just a baby. Wow, he's a super duper power plant eater. <laughs> But shark is a different kind of eater. Chameleons are insectivores. That means he's a bug eater, because an insect is a bug and a vore is an eater. So an insectivore is a bug eater. <laughs> you got it, Zabu. And shark really likes mealworms. Mm -hmm. Whoa, a chameleon has one fast tongue. He spots his prey, takes aim, and wham! He has his dinner. His tongue can be longer than his whole body. Wow. Hey, Zob, you have a mealworm on you. Well, that's okay. Shark will help me out, won't you, Shark? Oh, thanks. You know what, Shark? <laughs> All these eaters remind me of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. Where are you? Leap. Leap. When I bumped anywhere. into Sensit. Oh, oh no. hi, Sensit. Oh, hi, Zabu. I've been looking for you everywhere. Huh? We're having a taste test taste to find test? everybody's favorite food in Zabu Land. Oh, I love to eat. Lead the way. <laughs> Wigging? <laughs> she loves slurping big root noodles. <laughs> and my personal favorite is mango fruit. Here, try oh, one, thanks, Zabu. Thanks, Sensit. <laughs> Yummy. Gobo berries, gobo berries. I love. Ooh. 
Oh, well, bird. Oh, oh, and I know oh, your oh, favorite oh, food, yeah. Bugly. Boconuts. Thanks, Sabudi Duck. Boconuts rock. <laughs> hey, Sabu, you know, everybody has their favorite food, but I know one everybody likes. Oh, I'll bring oh, it in, Sabu. Ice fruit cake. Ice fruit cake. Oh, fruit cake. Oh, yeah. I love cake. Uh, come on, everybody. Oh, 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 oh. And we ate Sabu Land ice fruit cake for the rest of the day. The end. <laughs> A great story, Leaf Eater. Well, thanks, Spaghetti Eater. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the day, Asabu? Oh, I liked being inside and going into the anthill. I liked when Sabu was riding on that bike and whizzing all around. I liked when Slurpee slurped up all the avocado. <laughs> Ants and eaters are great. I love all kinds of eaters. Yeah! This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names. But we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal a friend today. Yeah! Bye, Snoopy. See you later, buddy. See you later, guys. I gotta go do lemur things. See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping, lemur. Hey, Martin, want to go check out some dirt eaters? Oh, yeah, I'm with you, brother. And remember, all eaters are good eaters. It's just survival in the creature world. See you next time. To the Earthworm! Hi, I'm Louis Daniel. This is my pet Charlotte.